<laughs> Sit down on the couch like this. Yep. And it's good. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, perfect. <laughs> this is your camera. Oh, nice. If you want to talk to it. Uh, yes. Hello. Welcome aboard. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. And whoever's um, watching this on the many interwebs. I'm Eli, the creator of a game called Scattered Nexus. And, uh, it's in this box. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, and I'm gonna play it, show people how it works, uh, talk about it a lot, probably, uh, so people can get a good idea. Um, I'm Eli, this is my wife Kelsey, my lovely assistant. She's gonna be my opponent or teammate. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, we figure we should get started, uh, so that we can't stop just rambling at the table, talking about doing, uh, inside jokes back and forth. Inside um, jokes. So, um... Scattered Nexus is uh, a Battlestock card game based on indie comics. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that it takes references from other games. Is, is that permitted? Uh, um, just say that, just what you just did, and yeah, that's fine, yeah. that's it. So that's it takes references from other games? As all things do, right. The same way a sentence takes reference from the English language. Okay. Right, like the words, you know, like, anyway, right. Um, so... How about I can uh, set it up, and then I'll leave it for you to figure out what games it takes reference from. Um, we do need to figure out if we're playing co-op or competitive. Um, the game has a co-op or competitive mode. Um, uh, let's get all the cards. Uh, out of the box. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that it's based off indie comics, but it totally is. Um, to set up the game, uh, we have these different uh, cards. Oh, we're going to need these um, action cards. Uh, you do use a action points in this game to do things. Um, depending on which game, we, which mode we play, if we're playing against each other, we'll have on this side where you have four action points. If we're playing with each other, we'll have three action points. Because the power of friendship is its own... Uh, power source. I like friendship. Okay, so we can play co-op. With friends. So, we'll put it on the three side. Um, here's a couple of um, reference cards. But I am the best reference card, being this, the this has a lot of text designer. On it. it does have a lot of text on it. Uh, luckily, it's just to remind things. And then keywords. So, um, we have these stacks of cards. These are each stacks of uh, 13. Is it better to have them this way, or should I turn them? Either way. Okay. It should be fine. Let me, let me double, let me double check. <laughs> yeah, that would, actually, that is the good way. Perfect. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> so there are these stacks of 13 cards. Each one of these stacks um, is a uh, features a different indie comic. Um, so as I said, if you're uh, big on indie comics, you might recognize a couple of them. Uh, but if you're not, then you probably won't. But that's all right. Uh, you will after today. So, um, this, these cards here are a set of uh, set one and two. I um, uh, create them in sets. Um, each set has seven factions, and the reason I make them sets is because they represent different genres. There are seven genres in this game, similar to other games. Like, if you, uh, like, for example, if you play Magic, there are set five colors in Magic, um, and those all have different ways of playing and things that they're known for. In this game, there are uh, seven factions. There are um, action, wait, action, sci-fi, superheroes, horror, romance, fantasy, and adventure. And they all have their different colors. They all play differently. Um, so when you're designing... Um, so each one of these comics represents one of those different factions. Uh, we also have set 1 and 2 here. So we have 14 factions total to choose from. This is set 2? Yep. Set 2 is over there. And set 1 is over here. So uh, because deck building sometimes intimidating... Uh, I wanted to make sure that this game was easy to set up, easy to jump into. So instead of choosing your each card in your deck, 
you figure out the factions that you like to play with or your play style and then you just pick three factions that belong uh, that you're going to put together to make your deck. Uh, so you notice these are little reference cards. They have a blurred out version of the comic and then the co uh, comic name. And on the back it will tell you it's uh, main faction, secondary faction. Some of them have like this one's mostly black but it has a little bit of green in it. Synopsis about the comic, a little bit about how to play with this faction, and then a couple keywords that are going to be used when playing with that faction, just to keep, get you a little bit more information. Uh, so we have um, adventure, uh, fantasy, romance, horror, heroes, sci-fi, and action. Um, let's see. Uh, let's We could do a little bit of a draft. Um, usually I, in a draft I recommend first player picking one faction, second player picking two factions, third player picking two factions, and then second player picking one faction. Okay, you're going with that. Uh, because we're playing co-op, we probably want to get a try to keep some type of balance. So picked action uh, for Damage Inc., which is very good at harming things. So I want to go with a uh, Romance, which is a little bit better at healing things. So kind of going defensive. When I get to pick another one, I'll pick... Um, um, adventure. I'll go with adventure because uh, adventure is good at free playing characters, so you get uh, some added benefit, and you get to pick one more faction. Oh, and then um, okay, so. Kelsey's picked... All the fonts are red. <laughs> all the red font <laughs> factions. <laughs> uh, uh, oddly enough, they also are all... Um, they all have red in them. Um, so Lucha Mystery is red-green, Damage is just red, and then Action Land is purple-red. Um, so Kelsey's going to be going aggressive. Um, I've picked a lot of romance factions, actually. I picked Alien 101, which is uh, orange-blue. Panda Days, which is so then if you yellow get this orange. one, you'll be super romance. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out if that's a good idea. Nah. Uh, we might do this one. Come across a boss that uh just beats the crap out of us. We, uh, there's a chance we could get a boss that's like anti red. Uh, yeah, or anti orange. Uh, so we'll worry about that. Got our three. Uh, oh, sorry. I see what you're doing. Um, our three factions. So we get our deck, put these back in the box, and then we'll shuffle these together. Without these. Correct. Remind me later to tell you a thing. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Can I like shuffle and shuffle? Yeah. Feel free to shuffle them however you want. She's much better at me better than me at shuffling. Actually, we have a rule in our house that I'm not allowed to shuffle for anything important because I would just shuffle all the bad things. Yeah, to the when top we of the play deck. Pandemic, you don't get to shuffle. Otherwise, we end up with back-to-back... -back, uh, Epidemics. Yeah. Yeah. Draw one, Epidemic. Draw two, another Epidemic. How'd that happen? <laughs> Aren't there supposed to be a buffer of, like, ten cards in between them? Eh, whatever. Yeah. That and I remember one time you forgot to put the epidemics in there, and we shuffled it, and just were like, "What?" Right. We did so good on that game with no epidemics coming out. <laughs> <laughs> just, just coasting. The game really falls apart. Ooh. Okay. I've shuffled in them out. So after you got your deck, you'll put it in your deck zone. I always feel weird having to explain that to people. Do you cut? Um. No, we're playing co-op. You can, if that would make you feel better. No. Okay. Um, you got your little reference cards. Um, importantly, uh, I made sure to make this game mostly cards. I always, I played a, a game recently where... I want the red one. Okay, I'll go blue. Where uh, there was a card game, but they had all these extra like tokens and things around. It was a little cumbersome, so I tried to stay away from that. Tokens and things around. So, for action points, um, we're going to start our turn with three actions. So just put your little marker on the three. And then that'll oh. kind of keep track of how much actions you have. So we're going to play co-op. So we're going to move this back a smidge. 
Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. Uh, so we can play co-op. And when you play co-op, you put... Are you... Oh, let, I'm let paying the cameraman attention. I'm do paying the camera attention. stuff. I wasn't doing anything. Uh, to play co-op, you just need these three added card stacks. You have minions, you have bosses. They They're look so like this. cute. They are cute. I do want... Look at this guy. Yeah, I like him. Go flower mouse. <laughs> uh, so, you're going to shuffle minions, put them face down. Oh, do I shuffle these? Yeah. Okay. You didn't say, oh, and I started sorry. doing that. It's all right. Your intentions were good. You got that instinct. Your instinct. Put your minions down there, and then you're going to pick... Draw three bosses from the top. I want to do it. <laughs> All right, and these go. No, and then these go to the box. Oh. You're not gonna need them. What do I do with these ones? You put them face down without looking at them. Oh. All three separate. Yep. Like that. Yep. We can bunch them up a little bit. You said separate. Oh yeah. Wait, well, yeah, they are separate. There's just varying amounts of sep separation. Uh, and then these are just going to be damage cards. So we're going to try to do damage to these bosses, and we'll use these cards to keep track of the damage on them. Um, but our whole objective is going to be to... Murder. Murder these bosses, right? Well, uh, that seems aggressive. Uh, defeat them. <laughs> um, but I'll explain more about how that's going to work uh, later. Uh, but as far as the setup goes, uh, you have your three bosses, and then uh, Chaos uses slots. So we'll have two slots per player. So it has three bosses, there's two of us, so there should be four slots here. What's chaos? Chaos is just all this. It's the enemy we're fighting. Okay. Um, that's a good question. You don't need to whisper your questions. Oh. Yeah. If you have a question, I'm sure that whoever's watching might have that same question, so it's, oh. it's good to get it out. Um, so there will be four slots for chaos, um, and that just means that uh, during the chaos turn, it'll flip over minions and fill up those four slots. It just shows how many minions are going to come out when uh, Chaos is fighting us. So we can start our turn. Um, first thing you're going to do is draw until you have five cards in hand. That's ugly. What is? The way I fan this out. It's fine. <laughs> You'll always draw till you have five cards in hand at the start of your turn. So, um, uh, so the phases go... Uh, wake phase. If we had any characters out, they would wake up. You don't know what that Good means morning. yet. I'll explain that later. You draw. You draw till you have five cards, and then we go into the action phase. Um, and during the action phase, you're going to use your action points to play cards from your hand and do a bunch of things. There are um, a couple main things you can do. Um, you can play a character. You can play any card from your hand, actually, for an action point. Actually, let's get started. Um, I'll do things and explain it as I do it. So I can put that guy out yeah. and move that. Cost one action point, right? Um, also, when you're playing co-op, uh, your turns are uh, simultaneous. So me and Kelsey are both taking our turns at the same time. I don't want to put that guy. Can I do this one instead? Sure. I just recommend communicating with your team to make sure that you're not totally thwarting I don't read the thing. their best laid plans. All right. uh, so introducing characters. These are characters. What are... Um, okay. They have impact at the top. That's how strong they are when they're fighting. They have That's how much they punch you in the face for. Right. Cool. Uh, also, how much damage they can take before they're defeated. I'll explain that. Um, they have these colors on the side. That is their color identity. So they are all these colors at all times. So I have a orange, blue, and yellow character. Mm -hmm. Kelsey has a red, yellow. Um, you can ignore that strip. It mm -hmm. just. It's just cute. Yes. It just. Got it. <laughs> and then they also might have an ability on the bottom. Yeah. They have their comic they came from, and the artist, and their ability. Um, let's see. You can use an action to uh, play any card from your hand. Um, you can also use an action to draw a card out of your deck. Dun -dun. I'll use another action to play this character. You can also use an action to attack, but on the very first turn of the game, you can't attack, because that's rude. So you must allow your opponent to do something. Uh, uh, so I'm down to. Did I use all my actions? No. I have three. Two. You played two on. things and drew. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, Can I draw more than five cards? Yeah. There is no maximum hand size in the game. 
It's just that at the beginning of your turn, you will drop two. You have five. Okay. I'm yeah. done. All right. Perfect. So then we go through to Chaos' turn. Um, Chaos uh, has a fairly simple turn. Uh, Chaos will... Wait, let me remember. It'll wake up all of its minions. It doesn't have any, so it doesn't do anything. It will summon more minions. So that's it. It has those Do you force. have a little card in here for it? Maybe. I just don't feel like finding it. Um, it'll summon minions until it fills up all of its slots. So I'll summon this guy. And one at a time, if it has an ability, it'll do that ability. Um, they have these little icons on the side to kind of show what type of abilities they have. This one, for example, has a hit ability. It doesn't. It, when it gets hit, it'll do something. But that's not, that's not important. Uh, no, I don't see one. Okay. On this one. On this one. She's like, I know how to play that game. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> so, you know, some of these four things. Uh, they, sure, don't, sure. they don't do anything when they come out, but you can tell by that icon, this will do something if it takes damage, if it gets hit. I'll explain hitting in a moment. This one has no abilities. It looks like a pizza face. Pizza face? Yeah, I like that. Maybe I'll call him Pizza Face. Uh, I do want to maybe come up with names for the minions, because calling the minion seems rude. Uh, anyway, this guy has two abilities. He has a, a defender ability, which means he doesn't attack, but he also has that icon, which means he does something when he comes into play. Oh no. Um, so let's see. Um, uh, when summoned, deal one damage to each non-chaos player. So that's me and, me and you. Yeah, so uh, when you, in this game, when a player takes damage, they take that many cards on the top of their deck and put it into their discard pile face up. If your deck ever runs out, then you lose. So that's, that's awkward. It is awkward. Oh, wrestlers. Um, and then Chaos will attack. So um, it'll attack with as many minions as it can that can attack. This one can't attack because it's a defender, but these two guys can. These three guys can. Uh, so now, uh, us as the defending players, we get to decide on uh, uh, how we're going to defend. So, uh, when we defend, you'll spend your character and just tell, uh, explain what character you're defending with. Um, you actually have a fairly big guy. Did you want to defend first? Sure. We have a three, a two, and a one. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is... I'll you know, defend this guy. Actually, I think I have an idea. Actually, um, I'll defend that guy. I can think I can take him. It's fine. Um, I have this guy's ability. He says weaken uh, target character's base impact becomes zero this turn. So weaken. I'll get that guy. Okay, that works. So um, weaken characters have two states: full and weakened. Um, right in this, here. yes. Uh, when you're battling a character, well, I'll use you as an example. So you'll defend that. So you'll just turn it sideways to tap it. To spend it to show that it's defending. Can't see tap. Right. Oh, sorry. Not tapping. That no one said tapping here. Um, and then uh, you compare the impact of the two characters that are battling. Two to two. Two to two. And I believe yours says you, you win ties in battle. That's right. not what it says. What? Characters that win battle against the character take a hit during that. Okay. My mistake. <laughs> sorry. Uh, that's funny. Um, so, two to two. Um, characters that lose the battle or tie take a hit. So your character would take a hit because it tied, and this character would take a hit. This minion would take a hit because it tied. Um, our characters have full and weakened states, but minions don't. They just get hit and they, they die. Um, so that's how battle works. Um, I'm going to use this ability, which weakens him to make target character's base impact zero this turn. So this guy's, instead of a three, he's a zero. So he'll do no damage to either of us. And then this one, I'll defend with this one. And then we'll go down here. Actually, sorry, I also made an error. Um, when you fought this one, you hit it. As it when it loses the battle, it gets a hit. Mm. And it says, when this is hit, target character not, hit target character not controlled by chaos. So our characters gets hit. It can be either of us if we want to talk about it. Don't care what okay. happens. He dies. Yeah. Guy. So that's how that works. Uh, this one was defended by a one. So this one got hit. That one didn't get hit because it just won the battle. And that's the end. That's the end of Chaos' turn. 
then it'll go back to our turn. We go back up to three points. Our characters wake up, and we draw till we have five in hand again. I already have five in hand, so I guess, I, I guess I'm all right. I use an action point. Where do I put this? Uh, oh, that's an event. Perfect. Um, when you use an event, uh, it happens, and then it goes straight to your discard pile. They work like instance in Magic, for example. Uh, when played, you may battle target character. So this thing forces a battle to happen, even if it's not. So I could play this first and then play that? Yeah, let's see. Uh, during a red attack, deal one damage to defending player for each character attacking. Yeah, you could. And you could also do that during the attack, too. You can attack and then use that. As if they work like instance, so you could okay, okay, okay. use them in response. But first... That happens. That guy comes in, he immediately battles something. So, who are you fighting? Right. Pick off the little guy. I'm going to... Um, spend this one. Mm, no. Uh, deal three damage to target player. Okay, so that's... Uh, would count as a character or a minion. So these guys would count as the players. So you do three damage to a boss. You're a little afraid of the bosses? That's fine. They can be intimidating. Let me try to do some stuff, see if I can help. Can I put her out then? Sure. Um, so does that mean? Uh, you have to spend her. But yeah, you could do that. So she oh, says okay. spend to okay. spend. Mm -hmm. I use an action point to play. Uh, Panda, the human. When she plays, I reveal cards from the top of my deck until I reveal a character. And then I get to free play that character. Apparently I didn't shuffle well. There we go. So I get to play that character without paying an action point. And then uh, the rest get recycled. Recycle just means they go to the bottom of your deck. Mm -hmm. um, when played, you put cards from your hand, a card in your hand on the bottom of your deck, then target player recycles too. Okay, well I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, when can I play events? Um, at any time. They work as if they're instance. In magic. Does it cost an action? It does cost an action. So you need to leave the action points available. Oh. Um, do you want to recycle two? Get what? Two, uh, do you want to get two cards from the discard pile on the bottom of your deck? Yeah. Okay. Nailed it. Perfect. Uh, that's kind of the big thing that romance does. So that was one action point for me. I will also use another action point to play... This panda guard, um, when it comes into play, I get to heal a character or give target character plus one impact. I will heal this character. So heal just means it goes from weak into full. You can't heal a defeated character. You also can't heal a full character. Dun -dun. And I still have one action left. It does take one action to attack, so let me explain how that works. Mm, actually, sorry. I'm going to heal this character instead. Because that's strategic. Fine. So I'm going to use an action point. Bring me down to zero. And then what you do when you attack is you say a color. And then you can attack with any number of characters of that color. So I'll attack with orange. Which allows me to attack with these three. Because they all share orange. I'm not attacking with this one because I want to use its spendability, maybe. So we'll see. Mm. Yes. So these three are attacking. Two, two, and one impact. Um, Chaos will automatically try to defend. I guess. Can I do that too? Sure. They would happen at different times, but you can. Okay, that's fine. Um, but with red, right? Yeah. Perfect. Um, so Chaos will automatically try to defend with its strongest character, and it'll try to defend the strongest character. So this will try to defend one of these twos, because I'm attacking first. I'm going to use this ability, weaken him again, to make this base impact zero. So when he does try to defend, he'll just lose. Which is good for me. Sucks for him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, perfect. And then, um, so it would have defended one of these two, I could decide. I'll just say it defended that one. 
then these two will still come in and they'll attack Chaos. Um, this? No, uh, they'd be attacking one of the bosses. Oh. So it's the same as like if you were attacking a player, um, they could decide on their characters to defend, but ultimately your attack is going towards the uh, player or the bosses. So what's up with this guy? He's already uh, spent, so he can't defend anymore. And you can't kill him? Uh, unless I had something that just made me hit him. Oh. But because I don't, he just watches this happen. Uh, so I guess the question is which boss do we want to hit? Well then I'll use this then. Okay. Hit target character? Yeah. Deal three damage to uh, target player, okay. This one. Alright. Perfect. So. Eye in the mouth. Yeah. So bosses, let me explain. It's like a vagina mouth. You can't Very say cheesy. that online. <laughs> uh, it already happened. <laughs> right. I don't we know what you're going to do about it now. You can bleep that out. I don't uh, think that's how it works. Um, you flipped a breaker of courage. Um, bosses have three levels to them, and it depends on how many bosses are currently alive. If there's all three of them are here, they only have that first level. You can oh, tell by the, suck. You can tell by the number of dots on them. This says, yeah, it's 20 life, and it says this character cannot be damaged by red characters. So it doesn't feel <laughs> red, which sucks because <laughs> Kelsey's into all Kelsey's characters are red. That's so why Kelsey I said, oh, suck. isn't affecting this. Luckily, that's an event, so that still hurt it. So it does take three damage from Kelsey's event. And then I'm hitting it with orange, which is another three damage. Uh, so do notice, as bosses die, the ones that survive get stronger. So if... What? Uh, so this is at level one, because there's three bosses out. Okay. Say, for example, we killed this one. These two bosses would go to level two. Okay, 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 okay. So it would go up to 25 life, and then... That looks like Baymax. It does look like Baymax. Uh, and then it, he gets a new ability that says minions can't be hit by abilities, which would probably suck for Kels. Does he use his arms to walk? Because those are tiny feet. Yeah, They probably. look like flippers. Yeah, yeah, he does a lot of, like, gorilla walking. That makes sense. Um, and then lastly, um, at level three, if he's the only boss alive, he'll have 30 life, and he, he has an attack during the chaos attack. Uh, all players take five damage. Yikes. Um, players may hit X characters they control to prevent X of that damage. So okay. you'll take it, but you can have your characters soak okay. up some of it. But yeah, it will harm us. Um, I'm all out of action points. Same. <laughs> so perfect. We go right off into Chaos turn. Um, chaos will wake up all the characters and then summon new minions. Summon another defender. Another defender. Oh, Those ones are different. Yeah. And then a lieutenant. Lieutenants are bad. We don't like lieutenants. Uh, What's see. this whirly gig? Whirly gig, uh, I call that the void ability. It means that when it dies, it gets removed from the game instead of going to, uh, to this pile. Because this pile's, if Chaos ever runs out of minions, these will get shuffled back in and Why make the new deck. stuff up here? Oh, sorry. Don't do that. Um, I guess I can move the box. No, okay. the box is pretty. All right. So we'll just what? have... We'll just have... Yeah, you can see it on there. We'll just have the, mi the minion discard pile over here. Um, Good. So when these lieutenants die, they're removed from the game instead of going through the discard pile. Um, his okay. Also his ability, uh, this icon means that he does something when he fights. And when he fights, he wins battles. So he doesn't care what oh. the impact is, he just wins the fight. Cute. So. Um, now they're going to hit us. Yes, then Cass attacks. Uh, attacks with this. Oh, these don't because they have the shield. And then that so one. can I use this? You can. So I could use this to tap him? Yeah. So I mean, spend him? Spend him, yes. So he's spent, so he won't attack. Woohoo! Uh, then this one will attack. So we have three coming out. Defend that. Okay, so you just turn it sideways to show that defending. And then that's that. Um, uh, so yeah, they both tied. I did my part. You do yours. The, oh. Th that's all. So it decks. goes down here. Yes. And then this one dies because it tied. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> First try. Um, while that's going on, I'll use this ability. Um, spend, heal, target, spent character. So because yours is spent, you can heal it. Nice. That's what, I, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for support. Uh, that's the end of Chaos' turn. Then it goes back to our turn. Draw two. We have five. Oh, there's duplicates? Yes. Um, you, in your, for as far as your characters, you probably have only one of every character. But your events, you probably have 
two, at least two copies of every every event. Yeah. Mm. This is funny. Nice. I'm excited. Are you gonna harm things? I have a handful of events. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's see. Oh, and all your characters wake up. Um, I should also mention uh, there is a field limit. Um, at the end of your turn, if you have more than five characters, you have to sack down both to lines? five. Yes. Okay. Um, so let's see. I'll use an action to play this one. So I want to use this event, but I'm not ready yet. Okay. I'll use this one to give this character plus one impact. play uh, King Me, which gives either two impact to one character, or two characters get plus one impact, if that math made sense. Um, so I'll give, this doesn't really matter, these two, one impact. All right. And uh, then I want to fight. All right. So. Fight. All right, we'll fight something. With red. All right, attacking with red. Those two. Um, Can I get that? No, he's spent. He's not. He, he's not. He's gonna just watch this happen. Well, then I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, that one still dealt damage to the bosses. This one. Um, if a character you control wins a battle this turn, deal three damage to target player. Yeah, so that would harm the boss. Uh, you'd have to win a battle. I'll have you go first. So you're attacking with red. Yeah. And just that one. Yeah. Okay. So, Cass would try to defend this one, and it would lose, and then I'll just leave that to you. You're the professional card picker-upper, uh, and then a boss would take three damage. Yeah. Might as well deal it to him. So you should be at nine. Perfect. Anything else you're doing over there? Okay. I'll also attack uh, with... With the power of love, I'll go with the uh, orange. With these four. Mm -hmm. Let's see, so two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten damage. That's a good amount. Um, this one will try to defend. You should move this over. Yeah, I probably should move it over a little bit. It'll try to defend this three. Why is there a three? That's a one. Um, this one gave it plus one impact, okay. and I used a card that also okay. gave it another one impact. Uh, then these seven, because this one has plus one impact, would hit this boss. I feel like we should probably kill him, because he's... I, who's we? I can't. We, right. We as a team should probably kill him, because he's going to keep messing messing with you. Yeah. Um, he's he, kind of boo-boo. He had nine, and I'm hitting him for seven damage, which puts him at... 16 damage. So he's got four do life. Do they left. all have the same? Uh, similar. Life? How yeah. do you know how much life they have? Um, oh, it's the, their level tells you oh. how much they're at. Oh. So he has 20 life, and you s minus 16. So he sure, has sure, four sure. life left. Um, I'm all out of actions. Same. Right, perfect. All right, we go back to Chaos turn. Voice these up. Oh, no. Yeah, it's fun. Then over minions. Uh, doesn't have an enter ability. Oh, another lieutenant. Perfect. This one has a little shield icon. Why is that one yellow? I don't know. Coloration? Yeah. This thing's like that too. Huh. Must have been the printer. Um, actually, I think I want to get new Am art I for it. too much? Okay. I see you. <laughs> I, I can't sit still. Um, yeah, it must be the printer. But um, this guy has a, a new icon. It means that he can't be hit by abilities, so you need to actually just oh, fight him. Okay. Um, he does get removed when you defeat him, and also From when the he, game? yeah, also when you summon him, he weakens all characters. So, can you fix that? Um, actually, I have too many characters. So I got to get rid of one. Dun, dun, dun. I should have done that when my turn ended. Cheater. So you know me. Um. And we got one more minion. Perfect. All right. Uh, no, I don't think I can fix that, actually. Um, well. But, well, anyway, Cass is then going to attack. Uh, so three. Uh, 
So we got 6, 8, <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'll defend that guy. Okay. I will defend. And then he'll die. Yes. Good job. And I'll, my guy died. I'll defend this one because I don't think we could take 6. My guy dies. Nothing happened to him. Correct. He's fine. Yeah, he's very large. He didn't really feel it. Um, oh, you just, like, poked him in the eye? No, I just blocked it. Save, save everyone else. This guy just sacrificed himself to. Oh, so you just like jumped in his mouth. Right. Got yeah, it. Yeah, okay. In a way. Cool, cool, cool. Um, then these two are still coming. I don't really don't want to lose my healer, but I also don't want to really take five damage. Um, I'll take five. Or do we both have to take five? No, one of us would. I'll do it. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, um, and then I'll take that two damage because that's stupid. It's the least I can do. Maybe I'll get characters now. Maybe. All and right. Now it's our turn. Then it's our turn. Let's wait back up. Yep. Son of a. N didn't get characters. That is accurate. Um, I have a card that uh, allows you to put a card to uh, um, their owner's hand. Um, we can make. Chaos put one of their lieutenants back to their hand. It would come up next turn, but it might stall us for a little bit. I got a character. Oh, perfect. Um, I'll use an action for this character. When he attacks, I get to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. I have three characters that share a color, so I can free play this one. Uh, I'm being dangerous. Uh, I will give... All your stuff is so red. I guess you can attack another boss. You don't need to attack that, that one. Mm -hmm. I'll give um, this character and this character plus one impact this turn. Um, and then I'll attack with orange again. I'm attacking with eight total. Um, I feel like I should kill him. Yeah. Right. Um, four of them will go towards him, taking him out. Boom. And then four of them will go. <laughs> yeah. Are you there? Yeah. We'll get this one. I got it that time. Oh, perfect. <laughs> we got Eraser of Paths. This what? card cannot be damaged by yellow characters. That's what it sounds like. Which. What? Oh, yeah. I feel that. Um, which, sadly is all my characters. So I didn't deal any damage to it. And this guy has an attack. Um, he says, uh, drop characters are captured instead. So um, remember I told you Where's at the end. That? Hmm? Where does it say that? On level two. Oh, okay. Yeah, all these are level two now because there's only two of them. Mm -hmm. um, so what that means is that, um, I told you at the end of my turn, I have to get rid of characters till I only have five. Usually they'd go to my discard pile. He says they go to the bottom of the minion deck, and they just add to the minions now. So it's very unfortunate. But, you know, the red guy's dead, so that's good. Uh, I'm out of actions, and it's... You got anything else you're going to do? No? All right. All right, we're going to go off into Chaos turn. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wait. First, I am my turn. I got to get rid of characters. I'll get rid of this one. Uh... It dropped, so it just goes on the bottom of the minion deck instead, which is unfortunate. Uh, bad at this. <laughs> uh, I said I'm a d game designer, not a game player. Uh, let's see. Why would you? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, you put it out knowing it was going to die. No, I didn't. I attacked, then that flipped. And I was like, oh. But you knew it was going to die because you had too many things. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. That's but what that's I was saying. Okay, fine. whatever. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Okay, yeah. You, you are correct. Sure. Um, um, nope. Okay, spinning that one. Good good thinking. Um, I'll heal that one. Get you some more characters. Um, then Chaos uh, summons. It's going to summon uh, one more minion. And then it's going to attack. So this one, this one, and this one. Poop. Not poop. So we got a three, a five, and a two coming at us. Um, I'll block the two. 
Actually, I'll block the five. Mine is going to get weakened regardless. So block five. Look down. I'm going for the two. Nice. So two is defeated. And she dies too? No, she just gets hit. So she just becomes weakened. Uh, and then the three still comes and hits one of us. Um, I can take the three. Oh, sorry. After a rule I keep forgetting to tell people. Uh, when you take damage, you can take damage from your hand. So you can oh. discard that cards. That would have nice to know. Yes, it would have been. It uh, would have been. I'll get rid of one from the hand and then two from the deck. One from the hand, two from the deck. All right. And then that's the end of Chaos' turn. Wow. Wake up. What is it? No. Not can me. you like discard no. cards? Nope. How's it? Ah. You can take damage from your hand. That's about as close as you can get. It's cute. Um, let's see. So third card type. Is can you heal this? No, not right now. I already healed that one just one. now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll play a location. The locations are uh, unique. They go here. They have an ongoing ability written long ways. This says whenever I play a green character, I can draw a card. Um, it also has an iconic ability. Iconic ability just means I can remove it from play or from my discard pile to use its iconic ability. And the iconic ability is to spend all characters. So it's something good to use in a bad situation. What um, can I do with this? Um, you can fight something? What oh, can so I fight? Target characters you control, battles target character you don't control. Um, can I do that right now or no? You could. On yeah. what? Um, whatever you think would be a good idea. Um, we might be able to take this one. I can give one of your characters plus two impact. Um, so put it up to a four. Yeah, which one are you fighting with? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it doesn't actually spend. It just, you just compare the impact. So I'll make it a four. So that three dies. Perfect. Um... I'm in a tough spot. I'll use one action to spend X characters I control to have target player recycle X. So I will spend these two to recycle two. Just give me a little bit more life. Uh, and then I'll attack with um, green. Total of three damage. Three damage going on this one. What's a card's impact? Uh, it's the number there. Okay. <laughs> Language. Are you not not feeling it? No, not working out well. Um. You have so <laughs> many events. <laughs> uh, yep, and I keep drawing them. Uh. So that's the end of my turn. Son of a bitch. Um, I was gonna say you can use uh, events on my things as well during chaos turn. If I'm like in the middle of step a weird fight and you can do something about it. I didn't get a good look at your hand, but um, then we go to chaos turn. Everything wakes up. Then you bring over. No, <laughs> keep him down. Just then, take a nap. You get two more minions. There's so many. Yeah, they just keep on coming. Get out of here. All right. Uh, then Chaos attacks. This one and this one. Okay. Does I'm she die? She does die. So does this minion. Big, bigger question is this five damage that's coming to us. Um, how do you want to do that? I got it. Okay. <laughs> one. Two. Three. And you can bring it to the deck after that. You don't need to do it all out of there. Mm. There you go. Alright, that's Chaos' turn. And then we move back to our turn. Can I use this? Sure. Defeat our character with three or more impact. Yeah. Woo! 
one way to do it. Get out of here. Uh, he's removed, so we'll never see him again. Um, we got one defender here. So he's going to try to stop us from getting these bosses. Um, I don't really have a good move. Let's see, if I attack with orange, most of these aren't going to be felt. Let's do it anyway. I'll use one action to draw up two cards. Well, can I use this and just hit him? Yeah. Hit target character. Directly? You may discard a card and hit another target character. Yes. So yeah. do that. Do that. That, that. Hit that guy. Oh, no. That card just hits him. Oh. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Uh, and then... And then we can do our. And then discard to hit that guy. Uh, he can't be hit by card abilities. So that's what that little shield does. Okay. I will give this character plus two impact because I use search for answers, which lets me draw two, and then target character gets plus one impact for each card I drew. Mm. But we're pretty much we're pretty much wide open right now. Let us attack with orange. Dun, dun, dun. You get in there too. Um, so this one will hit this, dealing three damage, and then these three will hit this, dealing five damage. Okay, this one is advisor of masterminds. Can't be damaged by green characters. Also, uh, it attacks. Uh, remove target non minion character with the most impact. That uh, sucks. Then remove damage from this card equal to that. Oh, I'm supposed to say that character's impact. Uh, uh, that, that sentence makes sense? It doesn't. I need to finish that. Okay, anyways. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that does suck. Um, but I did put five damage on them. Where are my damage cards? Did you move them? Perfect. Yep. At least that gives me something else to uh, target, even okay. though I do have some green. Now what? Do you do anything else? Um. Yeah. No. Right. Yeah. The dilemma is, uh, chaos is going to summon minions and attack us. So, mm -hmm. um. All right. Chaos will wake up all the characters. Dun, dun, dun. When this one enters. It deals one damage to each non-chaos player. Uh, and last one. Oh, another lieutenant. I think that's all the lieutenants, though. Um, you don't even know what it does yet. You're already trying to spend it. Uh, it can't be hit by or hit or defeated by card abilities. Also, remove it when it's defeated. Also, uh, when chaos attacks, it removes damage from the boss equal to the number of bosses in play. So we'll start healing the bosses. Um, he can take a nap. Yeah. Yes, it is still a large number. All right, then Cass is going to attack. Um, minions do their thing first. These are both defenders. So just this five is going to attack. Um, I'll, I can defend it here. Okay. Um, and this one's going to heal the bosses by two each. Even though it's sleep? Yeah. It just, oh. says, it just says it does that. Okay, then it's our turn? It is our turn. Are you kidding me? I get to draw a card, then recycle two. Yeah. Um, it is odd. Usually, um, Rear Faction does a good amount of damage. Um, let's see. Maybe. <laughs> yes, I do need to still um, get my editor through a uh, lot of these cards. Let's see. Mm -mm. I'm going to try to go for a defensive route. Deal three damage to the target to a player. Nice. Puts it up to seven damage. Play this character. Um, do you want to get an attack in? I could spend these 
two minions here. Sure. Okay. Do this. Spend these two to spend these two. Um, fight smarter says spend two characters you control to spend two target characters you don't control. Um, and then it is, yeah, I'm all out of actions, so it's all a Kelsey show. Target character gets two impact when battling this turn. Nice. Well, you're not fighting, you're not battling anything. Yeah, that would only work if you were hitting a character. That's not what I'm doing? It isn't. What am I doing? You're attacking a boss. Oh. Um, I can still give you two impact, though. Let's do that anyway. This character is spend, target character is two impact. Nice. Uh, so you're hitting a total of eight. Nice. Seven. What's seven plus eight? Fifteen. Perfect. Nice. Got ten life left. We might just make it out of this. Um, then... Yeah, that's all I got. You got anything else? Uh, could I have done this instead? Sure. Use that as well. Um, during a uh, red attack, deal one damage for each character attacking. So you, you did attack with red, so you'd be so dealing an another three. three. Yeah. So up to 18. Okay. Perfect. All right. Good job, Kels. All right. Then it's okay. chaos turn. Oh no! It actually didn't lose any minions that round, so it just wakes all these up. We're gonna die. You think so? No. We got this. Uh, the chaos attacks with these two. Oh, also this guy attacks too. I forgot. Remove target minion with the most impact. This one, and then it heals itself by that much. Stupid. Yeah, it is dumb. Uh, then, uh, sorry, these guys will attack first, though. Um, we got a six and a seven. I can defend those. Okay. I'll defend. There's the a five and a six. Five and a six. Sorry, I'm making it worse than it needs to be. I'll defend the five, and then I'll defend the six. See, we're fine. They got nothing on us. What about these guys? These are defenders, so they'll just wait for they us to attack. Chill. Okay, our turn. Yep. Turn, you may discard a purple. Uh, the action land location. Uh, once per turn, you can discard a purple character from your hand to deal one damage to target player. Uh, use one. To play Terry. She can spend to spend target character. Hmm. Oh, spend her to spend this. left so so I could use this thing mm -hmm. to hit one of those uh, yes you'd attack and then chaos would check their minions mm -hmm. and say do we have any minions that can block that and then it would try to defend and then yeah they fight each other and then you deal an extra one damage if you win which you would in this situation Okay, let's do that. Okay. Do you want to attack with red and get all your guys in there? Yeah, but let me see. Um, I'll do that. Oh, nice. Um, in situations, just so I can clarify, um, when Chaos is defending, they'll use their biggest character and defend the biggest character. But because Kelsey has a tie, three-way tie, then Kelsey would get to decide. Um, and I could use this? Um, sure. Uh, yep. I mean, it wouldn't really change anything. Why? It would just make it so that this one is bigger, but it would just be hitting this. Oh. So it's, it's already bigger, so... Um, so... I Why would, do I need to hit with both of them? Hmm? Oh, because then these would go towards the bosses. This one would get stopped on the way, and then these guys would continue on to hit the boss. And this? Yep, and then that would still just deal three damage to the boss, just because three of them are attacking. So yeah, 
there can be a lot going on. So, all right. You won the battle. Target boss takes one damage. Who's getting it? Perfect. I don't remember if it was 17 or 18. 17. Um, okay, so now it's at 18. You used Into the Dark, which makes target player takes damage equal to the red character stacking. So 20. 21. Then it would take 4 damage, which puts that 25. You got it. That was a bad high five. It's all right. It happens. Uh, good move, though. I'm glad. Now my characters are a little bit more relevant. Because now... Now you can make sure I don't die. Yeah. Let me try. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yep. Perfect. I'm out of... I only did what? One thing? Yeah, because then you were clarifying my question. Let's play some more stuff. Mm. Actually, let's get an attack in. I'll attack with orange. Which is everything. So, <coughs> actually, this thing's stronger if it doesn't attack. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll tap this to give that plus two. So, seven, eight. The eight damage puts it up to nine. So, this thing can't be damaged by green characters. Okay, I don't have any. It's going to attack by removing our characters. And then this one says. Now that's level three because it's the only boss alive. When a character is, remo is removed, r deal damage to its controller equal to its impact. So every turn it's going to remove one of our characters. It'll heal and we'll lose that much life because uh, it's rude. All right, is that the end of our turn? Mm -hmm. Chaos turn. A minion shows up. Perfect. We don't really care about him. Sadly, I'm wide open. I really didn't uh, prepare for <laughs> this situation. I didn't either, because you said you were... Oh, wow. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, all right. Chaos is going to attack. Uh, and we're all going to die. A five and a six. I can take the six. <laughs> that helps. Uh... No, they're all spent, so they can't defend. We'll just take the damage to our lives. Um, I'll take two. There's all my characters in the graveyard. Three, four. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's chaos attacking. I'm mad at you. You should be, because it's not over yet. You did a dumb thing? Yeah. No, this guy does his. <gasps> He's going to remove the strongest character. I have twos over here. You got twos? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll get rid of one of mine. Because I forgot to get rid of one, actually. Again. So, I shouldn't have had this. Alright. And then it will va vaporize one of my twos. Let me get rid of this one. Uh, it gains life. Two life. And then I take two damage. Alright. Taking two damage, now it's our turn. It is our turn. Um, I have a, the same ability as that one. So we can, if we spend these, we can spend those two to allow us to attack better. Okay. So I should hold off on the, and just be defensive. target character with three or more impact. This thing can't be defeated or hit by card abilities. This one also can't be defeated or hit by card abilities. That's why they're, they're lieutenants, so they're a bit of a pain. You need to just beat them in a fight. Yes, he can be defeated in it. <laughs> Let's see. This thing has 23 life. We can do this. How about I... Oh, nice. Actually, I say do it this way. Um, use your action land ability. So you discard it to deal a damage. 
and then because you discarded that. Cute. Yeah. Um, so let's see. I don't have a lot of moves. <laughs> I got a move. I can do a move. Let's. Um, you said it can't be hurt by green. Correct. Green characters. I use this. I put the hand on the bottom of my deck, then draw the same amount, then recycle two. So put this on the bottom of my deck. Draw the same amount, then recycle two. Because I recycled, this character gets plus two impact this turn. Oh, if you put a new location out, it'll get rid of your old location. So you put actual land into your discard pile. Nice. Red characters you control have plus one impact when attacking. Nice. Yeah, going in with red. Yeah. Okay. I can hold off from the defense this turn. I will. I will leave it for that purpose. Because yeah, you're you're hitting with higher numbers. Um, uh, actually, son of a bee. Uh, real quick. I still will defend. I still will keep my defense up, but I will spend this to spend that so that you don't, you can just go buy it. 13, a base of 13. Whoa. Nice. Uh, no defenders, so it'll just take 13 damage. Um, puts it up to 13 plus 8. 21 damage. I thought that's what it was. Alright, so it has nine life left. Do I have nine impact? I don't. <laughs> I can't pull that off. Um, we'll use another action to play this so that I actually have four characters to defend with. Actually, I have this ability. How about I attack? What's this? How do you do that? Oh, you remove it from the game, and then you get to use that ability. How much do, what, what do you do? Um, mine is spend all characters. So I can wait for Chaos to start their turn and then spend all of their characters and they won't hurt us. Yeah, do that and I'll use this. Okay. And do so four. I won't play to that. Uh, four damage. So 21, so it'll go up to 25. So I have five left. Yep. And actually, I could, maybe I'll finish it right now. I'll attack with orange. Um. This has plus two impact because I recycled this turn. Mm. So it's a three, four, five, six. That's enough. We did it. That's it? Yeah. We defeated Chaos. Woo! Making us victorious. We won the game. We won the game. Perfect. And it didn't even, it was going to summon my own spider next turn, so that's good. Uh, be responsible after playing games. It is good to separate the cards back into their original factions for easy storage. You can tell there's just a, usually the comic name down here in the bottom left hand corner so you can usually quickly filter through that. how you play Scattered Nexus. Um, I did want to say um, we only saw a couple of the bosses um, at, just based on the ones we saw. I, I assume you noticed a, a theme that was going on. Uh, each boss does, each faction does have a boss that is just kind of assigned to it. We fought the yellow boss, the red boss, and the green boss. You can tell because their first ability is like, I can't be hurt by this particular type of character. There is also, of course, uh, a black one, uh, purple, blue, and orange. They do have varying abilities, but they are, uh, kind of have the same idea behind them. But there still are three other bosses that could have came up, which have nothing to do with fashion colors. They kind of have their own deal. Like um, this one, uh, Sharpener of Spears, level one. Uh, Chaos has an additional minion slot per turn, so it just makes more minions come out. Level 2, 
uh, minions lose, lose their guard ability, so they always attack. There will be none that will defend. And then at level three, it'll attack, uh, deal five damage to one player or two damage to all or three damage to all players. So the players get to decide on how they want to deal with that. Um, and so yeah, just just to show you that there's some different things going on uh, with the bosses. I tried uh, bosses are actually a lot of fun. They're very uh, creative. And as the game goes on, I want to maybe make bosses based on each one of the comic factions. As I don't know which one's set one and two again. It's okay. Uh, you pretty much nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We do very well. Uh, I uh, like closed games. Um, I like for when you're uh, playing cooperatively to not be too easy. It did take a lot of uh, balancing to try to get that right. And it also does depend a lot on what bosses you get. We coincidentally got two bosses that didn't really work well for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's fine. No, this is. Sorry, I, I'm just putting them based on matching factions. Yeah, you wouldn't know that from the back of the card. Um, I'm, yeah, I think I want to go, go more like that. You think that would be a better? You think you like it better this way? Okay, why is that? Just so you don't know anything about them, you can kind of go in blind. And then if you want to know something about them, I guess you can go that way. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. Sorry, <laughs> I am still thinking about a lot of um, things. The game's designed. There are a couple of little tidbits that I'm um, still playing around with in my head, just as far as visual communication. As with a graphic design background, I try to uh, make sure that information is conveyed as quickly and What's this directly as guy? possible. We didn't talk about this at all. Oh yeah, that is um, um, uh, set one. So. So these ones. Yes. Um, so this big box has set one, two, and chaos in it. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. uh, I made this little guy just in case someone wants Am to I sticking out kind of a no, you're okay, okay. Okay. just in case someone wants to dip their toe in the game. They don't want to get all this big box and don't all this other stuff. Don't put your toes in the game. Don't yes. I mean, if you the game box. What if you don't have shoes on? Just like and the floor is lava. <laughs> no, that's weird. All right. So uh, this just has set. Uh, Set one, so it has these seven factions in it. Um, all these ones. yes, all featured from Scattered Comics, which is fun, um, and it's designed to be a two-player experience. It doesn't have chaos in it. Wait, does it have chaos in it? I don't think it has chaos in it. it does not have chaos in it. It's for you to beat up your friends and learn the mechanics and come up with your own deck style. Cool. Uh, yeah, we actually did the math. Um, on how many possible combinations there are, or uh, if you have 14 factions and you're making a deck of three, how many possible decks can you make? Mm -hmm. I don't remember what the answer was, but it was, <laughs> what was the answer? It was a lot. I don't know, I it, have your phone. I thought it was like 160 something. It's in my Facebook. <laughs> Go on my Facebook and look up that answer and that's what the answer is. No. No? Let me see. And I feel bad that I don't have the answer. Don't worry, Internet. Oh, I'll save so you. So you guys, um, sorry, I was out for a bit. Did you? Uh, we beat it. You beat it? We yeah. did beat it. Woo. Barely. Barely. Yeah, very, very mm. narrowly. <laughs> did you want to do a, like a combat round with CJ? Sure. With my son? Yeah. Cedric? Yeah, I'd love to. He's going to eat a sandwich real quick. Tonight. Okay, that's fine. Whenever you're ready, dude. Oh, that's Actually, so cool. Uh, you can see it live on the thing. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you lie. That's <laughs> how our streaming works. Uh, don't shame me. I'm gonna me. go get my water. Okay. <laughs> Did you lock the car? Maybe. Oh. I don't know. We can see it. Cool. I think I have a camera there. I'm actually on, on camera. I'm never on camera anymore. <laughs> it's really a bummer. No. Oh, yeah. You, beautiful face. You need people. No, to I just check that out. I like to see the hairs coming out of my nose <laughs> and stuff. The close-up shots. Let's see. <laughs> Wait. So, no, awesome, man. Uh, so, I think what we're going to do um, is my son Cedric's going to eat a sandwich he's eating right now, and then nice. he's going to come over and, and beat you at your All own right, game perfect. again. That's good. <laughs> you're going to totally pull the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pegasus move. And um, I know this it's, this will probably be in VOD also. Um, 
and I know you can't, the cards aren't perfectly in focus and stuff like that, but guys, but um, they're absolutely gorgeous. I think you could probably see, of course, I picked one of yours. Right. <laughs> right. Um, you can when you get it up close. Because yeah. if you put it up to this camera up here, mm -hmm. you can really see it. Yeah. Um, it looks really, really good. Yeah. Sadly, uh, I know I put the um, uh, title cards. They, they are just oh, yeah. already out of focus. <laughs> so uh, that probably doesn't help the focus. But, yeah, uh, I like the design of them. And uh, featuring so many different indie comics and their artists allowed me to uh, create oh, a, a very appealing yeah. game. Yeah. And, and local publisher, yep. you know, um, here in Sacramento. Yeah. And uh, I'm already have design uh, ideas for the future expansions. I think the next one's going to be web comic based. Oh, cool! Um, so I'm trying to find uh, some you know web comics that, of course, fit the genres because I do need. Yeah, I want them to have some type of sense making. I don't want to just have random comics. Kind like of this one's scattered. This one is uh, backup. These were kind of the people that even if they weren't necessarily with scattered, they're still local artists uh, that were really cool with. So having them be set too, and then I wanted to start branching out into other things. Uh, next set, I'm gonna go web comics, which will be fun because that's gonna be all around the world. Yeah. Uh, and then the next one after that, I want to do uh, uh, incredibly long comics. Any comics oh, really? uh, to get in the game right now, you need to have a minimum of five characters in your cast and a hundred pages of content. That way, people who are just I just started my first comic and I don't know if I'm gonna complete it. I don't want to necessarily have them being featured and then they end it. Um, but a uh, hundred pages of content and five characters. The set after that, I want to have um, after web comics. I want set four to be comics that have over a thousand pages. So just oh, these, cool. these long, ongoing comics that have um, uh, been on the internet or uh, in person. I feel like they don't get enough credit. Oh, sorry. Also, to go back to my original question, how many co combinations there are? Uh, Three hundred and sixty-four um, different combinations. Oh, using that's these. cool. Yeah. I mean, that's a... Almost a different combination for every day of the year. Oh, that would be fun. Maybe I should do that. You need one more. Okay. One more comment. Yeah, but if you added one more, I would right, add exactly. way more than right. one. Exactly. Right. That's actually pretty fun. Right? It's Mathematically, it's exponential. Right. Uh, so, that's fun. Maybe I'll try to do that one year. Like, every day, play a different combination. And now I can figure out what my actual favorite is. I'm always biased because... Um, these three comics are uh, ones I've created. Right. Um, I created these one and I illustrated this one, but I still think they're super what cute. What do you do with the top card for Dog Over There? No, I put it underneath. Oh. We were showing. We were showing the art, the art and some of these. That I showed, of course, that one, and then we had to give Jason a little love. Yes. By showing off his. I oh, like. Let's show off Null stuff here too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. In case they decide to get on the interwebs and see what we're doing. Right. <laughs> No, Jason was. Jason was check was hanging out with us for a little bit. Nice. Um, I like this one. It's just gorgeous. Oh yeah, and it's fun uh, because as I said, I have these uh, creators, and they send me art. Um, Who's that? This is uh, uh, Melissa McCommon, uh, creator of Epic Chaos. Uh, she's been a long time friend of mine as well. Uh, See, I haven't seen that one. Oh yeah, that's no, just pretty good. That's a newer. Yeah. Right. This is a newer edition. Newer faction. Yep. Okay. Um, there's a most a lot of, and I haven't seen this one either. I don't mm -hmm. think. Yeah, the road closest to you is the expansion. <clears throat> right. This is set one. These are set two. Yeah, I just haven't seen. I've seen. I haven't seen a few of these. I think you might have comics in Paul. Got it. Got it. You know, um, but of course I've seen this one. This one. Mm -hmm. um, the comics themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah, and also I mean, uh, do have to apologize. Some of the artists haven't gotten back to me with their final art yet. Uh, as you can tell, like some of this still has like the iconography on the back of it like we right. gotta get rid of that stuff um <laughs> but what's cool though is how far this game is yeah. already um even even though it's not even on kickstarter yet right yeah so it's like and it's been play tested a ton right i know i have uh, a couple of older versions right like i even have an old print and play version oh yes at my house yeah um, it, it gets stronger each time yeah so i can't wait for this thing because um I think it's really, it's easily playable. Yeah. And I like, because I remember playing, uh, what was it, on Tabletop Sim with you right. also, the, the co-op. Yes. Any game that's an actual co-op, mm -hmm. to me, is amazing. Yeah. And I think this, I have my, I have strong opinions about co-op games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like most co-op games are not co-op. 
Right. They're yeah. like one person could play the whole game right, by uh, themselves. You can do quarterbacking. Yeah, like, that's all you do. Right. Yeah. You tell everybody else what to do. Right. I, um, the pandemic problem. Yeah. I've, I've never been pandemic's there. one. Uh, even Zomicide can be that way, even mm. though I love Zomicide. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> because it's so complex, it mm. would be really hard to run all yeah. six characters. Yeah. And um, that's, what, that's what I learned. I played a game called Spirit Island, which was similar, a co-op game. Mm-hmm. You should actually try it. If you like pandemic but didn't like the quarterbacking, um, um, Spirit Island is a good one. Um, you're playing as a spirit on this uh, island, and there's colonizers that are coming up. So the colonizers work like the virus, and you're, oh, okay. you as the spirits are trying to get them That's off your cool. island. That's um, cool. Yeah, but the, I feel like so the co-op version you have here is really, really... Yeah. Um, it actually took a lot of inspiration from... Nice. Um, uh, my biggest three inspirations from for this game were Magic the Gathering. I've been a long-time Magic the Gathering right. fan, um, which you can see some of the gameplay and interaction is very uh, like similar to Magic. Um, the deck building was from Smash Up. I really liked it. Right. I thought that was really intuitive it's a good game. how good game. that worked. Um, the trouble with Smash Up, though, I always wanted to punch my friend in the face. Like, they'd be, just, all right, score that, I score this thing, and I'm like, I want to harm you, but I can't. There's nothing I can do to, <laughs> to interact harm with you. Right. Uh, so I was like, well, if this was a battle game, you'd be going down. Um, but That's uh, awesome. And then um, Sentinels of the Multiverse. Yes, um, I, they I see had, those. Because they always had that um, the boss that you were going against. But it always felt very cumbersome, like... It was always like you almost need a separate player just to run the boss because it was like, all right, it's boss. Because boss can be kind of that, come. do that. Yeah, this goes here and that. <laughs> yeah, goes the boss there. is a lot. Right. So I definitely, when I was designing Chaos, the um, artificial opponent, I just wanted to be flip over these cards, do what it says, streamline, right, and you're done. All right, go on, get back to the fun. Yeah, stuff. playing the bad guy is not right. what you want to right. do unless one person is the bad guy. Right. There's, exactly. there's a there's games for that. There will be an expansion where um. I'm going to make Chaos a playable faction, oh. so you can actually play as Chaos. I'm excited to see how that goes. I wonder if it will be a like Arch Enemy, where it's like um, all your cards are super powered, and then you're just doing things to just just thwart just, and harm yep. your opponents. That would be I think fun. that's awesome. <laughs> so a lot of a lot of the play space is huge. So there's a lot I can do. Yeah, so just figuring and out. you've got tons of content right. yes. to use yeah. out there since in the I've universe. Been, since I've been talking um, about showing the Kickstarter, I've been having indie comics creators coming out of nowhere being like, right. oh, hey, hey, I have a I comic. Got... Yeah, you, you should check it out and see if you <laughs> want to include it. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to hear some of the, because especially here in, in Sacramento, some of the people we work with. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so awesome. I mean, and we are, uh, this is being filmed and recorded and broadcast from A1 Comics in right. Roseville. So, yes. It's a great um, place. We, lear- we work with these guys quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, let's do a head-to-head if that's cool yeah, with you. absolutely. Uh, I'm going to have my son Cedric. He ate his sandwich. He feels good. He's got a Gatorade ready. Right. Bring Stay the hydrated. Gatorade and your cookies. <laughs> Eat some cookies. We'll, and fight. we'll fight for the cookies. Winner takes yeah, just the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nice. I did hear that uh, the part of the brain that designs games is not the same part of the brain that is good at games. So oh, every, good. everyone keeps coming to me being like, oh, I beat you at your own game. I'm like, yeah, like everyone does. <laughs> uh, I'm focusing on different things. Um, and just as a question for the Kickstarter, are, yeah. are these play mats going to be part of it too? That's or? still on the fence. Uh, like maybe a <laughs> I think it'll be an add-on. stretch goal or something oh, like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, it would definitely be a stretch goal. If we can get enough funding, I, I would love to add these to the big box. Um, yes, we got our small box. If you, yes, if you want right. to dip your toe in, there's a, a other medium sized box which fits. It's pretty much all these cards. It's um, all 14 factions plus chaos, all in a nice compact box because I respect people's shelf space. Yes. Anime. Keep it compact. And then this big box you see here is the kit and caboodle box. It's big enough to fit these factions, the future factions I have planned, right. as well as a game matter too. So I think if uh, for a stretch goal, we'd probably have it. So hey, that's awesome. You can get this big box and a game mat. That is literally my it. biggest frustration is his <laughs> box size. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, or yeah. the people that or, or boxes that are just a strange size. Right. Yes. You're like, why? No. Why right. did you make this an octagon? Yeah. It <laughs> I was uh, like it could go nowhere. Right. I uh, played uh, like a couple <laughs> living card games from Fantasy Flight. Like I played Android Netrunner, which is actually one of my favorite games. But its box is way bigger than need yeah. to be. It takes like eight, eight, an eighth of the actual box, and then the rest is just empty space. Just a box. Yeah. So yeah. folded cardboard. So, yeah. yeah. I hate when they do that, and it's just an empty box with a bunch of cards in there, and then the cards just slip into the. Yeah. Right. So they're get they are. <gasps> it's they're getting better. Right. Uh, yeah. Because the the feedback is we don't immense like right, right now. Right. Saying right. you're because you, everybody wants to sleeve stuff too. Yeah. Right. Like, exactly. 
now that I sleeve stuff, it doesn't fit in the box. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, what? Oh. Right. What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> right. <laughs> I want to sleeve my cards, man. Right. So, all right, CJ, sorry. <laughs> I could talk forever. <laughs> so, uh, grab your cookies, count them over, and <laughs> your goodies. <laughs> nice. Cookies so, important. Make sure you have that. Cookies and Gatorade. Nice. So, perfect. Uh, you beat me before, I believe, or we've really played. Yeah. Who can keep? Who can say who won and who lost, right? Um, so, a couple changes. Uh, we have action cards now, so that's just to show how many action points you have. You'll use this little marker to keep track. These have little tokens, but that started getting annoying. So you'll put it on the four side because we're going head to head, and you just put it on the four. Uh, so let's yeah, we can go through a draft. Um, you can go first. You've been on Earth shorter amount of time than me. It seems seems the right thing to do. All right, nice. I feel honored that that was your first one. Uh, let's see. Um, he actually has red ghost. Nice. Uh, I'll go with this one. The drafting mechanic at the beginning is um, fairly interesting because, as I said, if you find certain synergies, you can still thwart your opponent from getting to them if you, you know, are willing to draft around it. All right. Where am I going? Mm. Let's go with. I should at least have one of my own comics. All right, perfect. All right, we're all set. Get rid of your little title cards. Where'd you guys get those sandwiches? Those smell good. Mr. Pickles. Okay. We gotta go there. I mean. My doctor says it's pickles. Right. So yeah, it's it's des <laughs> it's destiny. No, seriously, like mm. it's in the universe. Mm. It's, uh, right. That's you have to complete that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Rugrats. They had the Pickles mm -hmm. family. My friend Carlin, she's like, that's such a great name for a doctor because you can have so many puns with that name. Mm. Like, oh, you can't just me because you're in a pickle? Mm, nice, yeah. In a pickle again. All right. And I guess we can cut. I guess that's something people do sometimes. Super inappropriate. Her husband. In the pickle. Uh, yeah, if you want to get in probes with it. I like that. All right, and all the rules are still the same. You just draw till you have five, and then uh, we attack each other till one of us stops moving. That's pretty much the... I tried to go uh, with more action factions in order to try to be more aggressive. We'll see how it works. Because I believe in... Um, Competitive ways. I'm just talking about the internet, I guess. Um, we didn't do a lot of events during opponents' turns when we were playing co-op. We were mostly doing all of our stuff on our turn. But when you're playing head-to-head, -head, it's a lot more likely that you're going to be using events to interrupt what your opponent's trying to do. So I'll, if that comes up and it's new stuff, I'll try to explain that. Um, so yeah, everything still goes. Uh, same rule, you cannot attack, take the attack action on your very, very first turn. But everything else is pretty much still the same. You got a move you want? No. I can go first if you uh, don't have anything you want to do. Yeah. All right, I'm in. And then he's going to dismantle whatever it is I do. He's one action. I'll play a gauge uh, unlucky. I can spend him to hit a character. Uh, use this, play Ray Diablo. I can spend him to battle a character. <laughs> All right, I'm good. very aggressive. And then uh, Terry, seductive. I can spend her to spend a character. So that's, and I'm ending my turn with one action left. So I'm gonna do things to your characters, probably. It doesn't seem like that's what's, what I'm planning. Yeah. Nice. No mercy. Right. Nice. Uh, tech gal, you can use an action point to search your deck 
for a robot type character and add it to your hand. Great first turn move. So you can use an action point to draw a card too if you want. No, you got you got some stuff planned. I feel it. No, no. I have no stuff. Okay, all right. Uh, well, then I'll try to be aggressive and use one action point to make you take three damage before I end my turn. Before you end your turn. So I'm making you uh, take the top three cards of your deck and put them in your discard pile. Oh, oh yeah. Well, this one's already done. Yes. Face up, face down. Face up. Okay. Nice. And remember, you can use a location iconic abilities from your discard pile or your location zone. You just need to remove it from the game to do it. Oh, okay. Um, then it goes to my turn. I'll draw. Use one action to play her. Then I will. I'll use this to spend uh, your character. So turn it to sideways so that it can't defend. All right, that wasn't a card. Let's try to play this card. Um, then I will attack with red. Uh, which is seven damage total. If you want, you could take that damage from your hand. You can say, I'm going to get rid of these cards. And that way you'll draw into more stuff when your turn starts. Okay. Mm. All right. And then it goes to your turn. Oh, yeah. So you unspend her. So she wakes up. You draw till you have five cards. Oh. Okay. Got the good stuff now? Wait, do I? And then you go back up to four actions, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. No. Do trail, trail, trial and error. Okay. Draw three and put two cards from your hand on top of your deck. these cards he played. Um, we have Derek the Buzzkill. You can spend him to free play an event from your hand. So if you wanted to, he could have spent it and played trial and error without using an action point. We have um, Edward the Greeter. Um, he can't attack unless you have a genius type character, which he does. That one is a genius. But it has just a lot of uh, impact. So it's a good card to have out, especially in this situation. Anything else going down? You still got one action point left. I'm gonna go in the sun. Okay. Right. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna use a lot of trial and error. Nice. So you're only seeing one more card that you put back there, right? Huh? So you're only so you would uh, look to three, put two on top of your deck. You trial and error again, so you get oh, to look at the top. The deck. Hold on. Oh, you put them in your discard pile. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. That's so supposed to go. I got it now. So so. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice that. From bottom. Okay. I mean, you knew what they were. You could put them on top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. These aren't better. Okay. Well, that's. Sometimes that's the rub. Mm -hmm. Oh, they go on the top of your deck. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. 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 Oh
Ravens, draw one card. I'll play this location. It says that uh, when red characters I control attack, they get plus one impact when attacking. You have a big four guy over there. So I will use Terry to spend your big four guy so that he can't defend. And then I'll just attack again. Um, which this time it's it was seven, but they both get plus one, so nine. Nine this time. You can't take cards from your hand, but overall, nine cards to your discard pile. Got sad. <laughs> you said what? Got sad. <laughs> um, uh, no, sorry, go ahead. I don't want to interrupt your count. Um, so I now want to remind you, um, uh, if you do have any locations in your discard pile, you can remove them from the game to use their iconic ability. Sometimes they help you turn the tide. Later discarded, you may put target character on bottom of his owner's deck. Nice. What character are you choosing? Perfect. That's a good choice. I'm gonna play this. Mm. Nice. Reveal cards on the top of your deck until you reveal a character. Free play that character and then recycle the rest. Go on the bottom of your deck. Nice. When played, either <laughs> give target character plus one impact or draw a card. Or recycle one. So you can get one card on the bottom of your deck, get a card to your hand, or give something one of that. Nice. And then. Do another one. Oh, snap. Okay. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so you can do it without using an action point. Oh, okay. Nice. Big field. You went from three characters to seven. And then. What did you get? Okay. Uh, using its iconic ability. Mm -hmm. Target character gets plus X and this turn where X is the number of other characters. Nice. Control. That's a good way to go. So it would just be removed from the game, but who are you picking? Oh, nice. All the eggs in one basket. I like it. Nice. So it went from a 4 to a, an 11. Because this gave it plus 1 and 2, right? Yeah. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this. And... Uh, either target character gets plus two impact this mm. turn, or two target characters get plus one impact. Nice. That's a good one. He's going to get plus two impact. Okay, so he's up to a 13. Uh, but you don't have any action points to attack with anymore. Oh, so you want to okay. go You want to go back one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. No. Well, I'm going to attack with blue. All right. Mm. Is that one? Okay, we have 
couple more coming at us. All right, yeah, that's a good one too. No, there's no summon sickness. You can. Wait, what? Yeah, you can detect them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter how suit if they just came in or not, as long as they meet the color requirements. All right, let's see. Well, first thing, I'm gonna let this just slide. One action point to um, defeat a character with three or more impact. So uh, I was wondering why you, you were putting everything on that one. I was like, that's dangerous. Um, and then I'll take the rest of them. Uh, so it's five. Yes. <laughs> So now, at the end of your turn, uh, you have more than five characters, so you have to get rid of characters till you only have five. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I guess the question is, which ones do you care about? Um, these three do things when they come in. Um, <laughs> she can maybe get you another one of those. Wait. Search your deck for a robot-type character. Okay. Um... That guy always has an ability. I think this one is a good one to get rid of. If I had, if I was suggesting, because she did her thing, she doesn't have a lot of impact by herself. Oh no, you only need to get rid of one. Oh, yeah. One. Until you have five. So you okay. Okay. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Okay, yes. Sorry, I was uh, second guessing my math. Uh, then my turn. Let's see. Uh, I'm a little low on characters now. I'll use this uh, for an active point. Uh, put my hand on the bottom of my deck, then draw the same amount, then recycle two. me doing weird stuff to my discard pile. Um, when you recycle, the card that you're using to recycle isn't in your discard pile. So I'm recycling two, got rid of those, and then this goes to my discard pile. So that's why I'm doing a little shuffle. Um, all right, I got a new hand now. Mm -hmm. I'll play another character. When this one loses battle, it hits the character that defeated it. Uh, one to battle. Or this one. Now uh, weaken, take a free attack action as your next action. This. Um, during a red attack, I deal one damage to defending player for each character attacking. Um, I'll weaken her, so I get to take a free attack action with red, and then I'll attack with these three red characters. Sorry, that's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so you take three damage from into the dark, and then you get to figure out how you want to defend things. And this. Hmm. And that one. This one here. Yes. Okay. Ah, smart. Then, right. this so that one. So it just gets weakened. Mine dies, but yours oh. just gets hurt. And this. That. This one. Yes. This one. Okay. They tie, so they they both get hurt. Um. And then, and then take yeah. The heck? Yes, you do have duplicates. <laughs> that is weird. Okay, so we didn't shuffle that well, apparently. Um, and then you take another three damage from Into the Dark, because I did attack you with three characters. Mm, and then it's your turn. I got nothing else. Oh, that. Yeah. Th all right. So that's game then. 
Let me see. I'm wondering, did I just pick too aggressive of a strategy? Or were you doing weird stuff over there? Well, I guess ultimately you didn't really have any um, healing or regenerative abilities outside of uh, like um, your Panda Day cards. And you, know, you didn't really get to see a lot of those. Sometimes you do get some short games. So what is it? I'm trying to remember what's different from when you uh, played last. Um, the taking damage from your hand is new. Does that make sense? Do you feel like that helps in situations where your hand already just sucks? Yeah. Also, how do you feel about the um, these cards instead of the, like, I was using dice and tokens and things like that. Uh, just trying it out. I feel like it works a lot better because it's just a, and then you do your thing rather than finding where you left your tokens, figuring out, is this my used tokens or is these my used tokens? And then it gives your opponent a better idea of like, oh, they have that many actions left. Yeah. I can uh, go accordingly. That makes sense. I always like uh, when people come back to play again and I get to see the changes. Yeah. Good game. I think it's, I'm going to make it a rule to shake hands. That one works. <laughs> nice. Actually, um, so I mean, that's game. That's um, cooperative and competitive. Um, I haven't been paying attention on the internet at all as to who's watching or if there are any questions. <laughs> can people even ask questions? Uh, no, th they can. Um, Jason's been in there <laughs> off and on, um, rooting for Panda Days. Right. Of course. Um, Panda Days <laughs> won saying. one and lost one. <laughs> uh, but I think that's why, I mean, because you... I'll, I'll take your seat. Because I think that's where... Uh, <laughs> Cedric Ooh. kind of picked his deck. Mm -hmm. Aussie right. was like stuff he's either familiar with. I think you've read all, all of those, everything you picked. Right. Yeah, like because we have the copy of Tech Girl. And, oh yeah. And Tech Gal, sorry. Yeah. And uh, I was uh, picking to draw blood. That was my right. My yeah, main was, picks. But it's <laughs> like he's read the Action Lands and mm -hmm. um, the Panda Days. So mm -hmm. I think that's what it was. I really like my my thought on just design wise. Mm -hmm. Is everything's the same size, mm. um, and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It just unless I mean unless it's I don't know. There's certain uh, things that I I look for in a game, mm -hmm. and it's uh, travelability. Right. Yes. You know, it's like, can I take it with me? Right. Mm, most it, of the games I have, yeah, that I love or to no, play, no. It's right. just it's just too much. Yeah. Um, Right. Set up and tear down. That was all That's a big one for me. Uh, right. If it takes as long to set up a game as it does to play, play game, I'm kind yeah. of it's over a, it. Yeah, it's turn uh, off, especially if you got to teach someone how to play the game, and then that's added setup time. Yeah. And so it's just I like I like stuff that you can uh, travel with and um, easy setup, easy tear down. Yeah. Um, I really like this. I I was I really like this, yeah. um, and I uh, I'm impressed by dual sided cards yes. right that's a big thing that i've been in, in the last few years you know going to the conventions mm -hmm. and stuff is seeing a lot more dual sided cards right. like it has a function right exactly and that was yeah that was completely the intention is uh it was funny how it's always like in hindsight you're like why did it take so long for me to come up with this uh, <laughs> because i had it in um in the game where uh well, if you're playing cooperatively you have four uh, three actions and if you're playing um, competitively you have four actions and I kept just having alright just remove one token or do this thing and I was like why don't you have a card where you you can so see where it, the it. setup's just done right right you're exactly. like here you go oh okay you want to play 
and yeah. I just flip. And I, I, I was really liking these yeah. a yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, as and I noticed the playability was a lot smoother that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, maneuverability, uh, transport, pick up and take it wherever you're going. I uh, have a dream. Uh, um, it's a, a bit of an add-on, but um, uh, different artists can make alt art for their faction. Like, oh. um, so if you come, after this game's out, and you come to my table at a convention, you could probably buy alt art Alien 101 cards from me, and they would have different art that I made specifically for the game. I'm same off, same cards. Yes, all the same just, cards. Just the art's just, prettier. Oh, um, that's super cool. Right. Uh, in my comic, I never got to do a swimsuit chapter, which is kind of standard in. Uh, manga romance. Right. Uh-huh. So uh, my alt art is just everyone in their swimsuit attire. So <laughs> it's su- super cute and cheeky, but because um, I think I've seen that poster. Oh yeah, um, right. I think I've seen. That. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, I'm here. Uh, so I, I'm offering that to any artist. Hey, if any artist wants to make alt art for their cards, uh, it will be exclusive to them. I'm not going to take it. You have it at your convention, and you can show it. So that way, um, my dream is to one day have um, be at a convention and have a fan come up and challenge me uh, with their favorite three factions like um, because you can um, you have any of the three factions like as I'm continuing making factions I plan on making like 49 to 50 by the time we're done that's every two color faction combination right. um, so I'm hoping that uh, some some kid comes up and they're like hey I played this game for a year I have I know the synergies with these three cards and I'm challenging you to yeah, this battle bring it. And then, uh, of course, the reward is if you beat me, you can just freely have one of my alt art cards. Here's my alt art. Dude. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think that's just such a fun thing. Um, in my in my mind, it would uh, increase, uh, you know, attendance. People come going to conventions, interactions, and kind of um, interweaving. You know, uh, creating a network. People, kind of something that connects all the different indie cards, in, indie creators, through this one thing. And it's a, you know, splash. It's a great catalyst. Yeah. I mean, it really, really is. Yeah. And it's fun. I mean, I feel like I've, there's been a couple of people who have played the game and become interested in this comic because they oh, like absolutely. how the cards I'm, work. I'm, and, I'm similar. Right? I was, I mean, I wasn't, um, I think which one was I, because I already, Damage was the first one that I right. ever saw right. at a Scattered. Um, hmm. And then I think the next one I saw was Tech Gal. Yeah. Was at, um, down in Elk Grove, right. I think, at one of those. Yeah. And right. then got to know you down there right. and then I picked up the Alien one, right. one and Action Land and, yeah. and Dog of the Dead so but, but, it, it is that concept I mean that's when I was down there and you were like hey you want to try this game I'm working on I was right. like I don't know yeah, right. and I looked I was like okay right. I, this yeah. has got something here right. yeah uh, I found out that people are much more um, likely to play if it's pretty that people <laughs> well yeah right. I, th- I think that's or at least palatable right. on the eyes right because <laughs> right? yeah. sometimes you're like this is just right rugged, right. man. Yes, which is funny because I do plan on getting at least one rugged creator. I want to see if that works. But uh, I almost like the um, the um, the variety that you get. Like um, you look at Blenth oh, yeah. versus you know Jeez. Epic Chaos. It's no, there's no similarities. Um, so I, I really do like the idea of getting a robust catalog, of a lot of different creators. And you know something that, that connects them, but I guess it's a little egotistical because ultimately, well, Scattered Nexus will be just my favorite hits. Like these are when I think of these my, two genres, I love this comic, and I made it. But parts. I think that's. I mean, if you're making a passion project, mm-hmm. I right. mean, that's honestly passion projects are what sell because you mm-hmm. put your so much love soul in it, into right. it, right? It, you want it. You want to play it too. Yeah. Um, but I think yeah. that's what, in any art form is like if you're creating art and you don't even like it. Right. Well, what, what, are you, what are we here? What are we what doing? Are you doing? Right. <laughs> and it is fun because I do. Uh, I like comics with a lot of originality. Uh, I've seen in the indie comic world at least a lot of ideas that keep getting regurgitated and like this thing, but this is a little different. But it's not really coming from the heart. So when I read a comic and I feel like there's heart in it, like there's they're trying to get a message across, they're trying to explore a, a particular idea that is off the beaten path, I feel much more compelled to Agreed. get to it. And also, with my, as I said, the seven factions, what I've found is it's super difficult to actually find comics in those particular niches, like horror romance. All right, how, what comic is a horror comic 
with romantic elements. Like it's hard to find just those things. So <laughs> I guess it, that, that's it, it caters to that pretty well. Um, yeah. So for example, uh, like going into uh, what, what was one I had a lot of trouble with? It was superheroes. Finding superhero action is easy. Finding superhero fantasy is like, okay, superheroes, but there's a dragon in somewhere in it. Like, it's a little weird. Superhero sci-fi, I found that fairly easy. Mm -hmm. Superhero romance was, I st still don't think I've found one. Superheroes that are, like, romantically related. There's always, like, a love interest, but it's, like, not a romance. Yeah, it's not a romance. Uh, superhero horror is a little weird. Um, there's some with monsters, but I wouldn't call that a horror, you know? And then superhero fan uh, adventure is uh, a little bit more playful. So finding these combinations is interesting. Um, it, but I have a, my eye on a couple things. Like, for example, even on this box, there are some people on this box who uh, are, like, pending. Oh, cool. I won't go into them. No. Because I don't... But, <laughs> but, but, I mean, on your... If you do, uh, when you finish your Kickstarter and that goes live, yeah. um, we'll see more of that kind of information. Yes, exactly. And then I'll be able to finalize the box and make sure that everything, all my uh, I's are dotted and my T's are crossed. Yeah, look um, out for that because um, we'll definitely be uh, putting it at our events for sure. That's what That was kind of our whole point, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's why we're at A1 and yeah. doing all that stuff. Absolutely. And we're going to talk a little bit of that kind of business off camera okay because right. <laughs> you know we don't want to commit right exactly, i don't want right. to commit, commit to something on tape <laughs> right and then right they're like they hey, go, you I, said clearly it. right exactly. <laughs> right and i think that's why you don't want to right exactly. let's not yeah don't don't even look at these don't <laughs> don't don't try to identify what so these things see, are see the name right that's for it's, the name exactly sake. uh but it is fun i actually think i want to a uh, couple things i have in mind as new comics get added i want to have them uh, contribute a uh, antagonist to the chaos deck. So, oh, that'd like, be really cool. So like, here's all my characters, and then here's my bad guy, and then you can have it as your enemy that you can uh, randomly come across, um, as well as. Um, Seems like you have a lot. Like I have so many ideas. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah, and, and me, I'm fun. one of the. I've been telling you for a while. It's like pull the trigger. You're right, like, just, exactly. Just, Right. Get it out there. I, we got a lot of that, <laughs> right? And yeah. I, I and it was honestly there was always this feeling I have about it not being quite ready. Like, uh, I actually, I, what I realized was the very last tweak we did was with chaos, um, and it was to make it a little bit more streamlined so the things just flowed a little bit better, and the players felt like they were really interacting with an entity rather than a checklist. Uh, and yeah, so now I'm like everything feels great. Like, uh, I just want to keep keep it going and uh, add more. Uh, I am wondering if I want to add a um, uh, recommended, like if um, fans of Scattered Nexus want to like, hey, we found this indie comic art, so we think it would be a good fit. We want to see this comic in your game. If I can do a honorary faction, like, hey, they're not part of a set, but enough people ask for it. I talk to the creator. It's an add-on. Here it is, right? Small add-on that you could have. Yeah, there actually is a eight faction, uh, which is uh, white, um, and it is pretty much just promo faction. Um, for this Kickstarter, there's going to be a, um, an add-on, just a Kickstarter. It's not exclusive, but it's a promo. And it is of uh, cosplayers. It's a cosplay faction. Oh, cool. And it's going to be... There's a certain tier in Kickstarter where you get to be added into that faction. So the five characters of that faction are five people that uh, are that higher tier. They send me a photo. I draw them cosplaying as whatever character they want. And then they're actually in the game. Um... And it's fun. Uh, That's super fun. Yeah. yeah. There's so much to do. I'm, I'm just having a blast <laughs> in the design space. Um, you are, a, at least from what I understand and what I've heard many times, and I've seen it, you are a workhorse <laughs> right. when it comes to art they call and me design. The, the machine. Right? Yeah, seriously. And it, and it's and over the last few years, I'm <laughs> definitely it. I'm a believer. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, the saddest part I have is that, that said, Every dual combination will lead to 49 factions. I don't think that's enough. I want to make uh, <laughs> If I could get up to 100, that's more. where I feel like I, like, okay, that's, 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 that's more, enough. That's that's a lot, yeah. Then I need a new box. Like, I, I could maybe see oh, you fitting. Uh, Some good sun. <laughs> Hang on the sun. I could maybe see fitting 50 factions in this box, but 100, that's a little, you might need two boxes. Well, uh, you've got you've got our support for sure. You've got the community support for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but we'll do more of this. Yeah. Um, and thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out to A1. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun. And we'll I can do talk more. about this forever. I know. We'll do, and we're going to, just <laughs> in small, small chunks. chunks. Right. Over right. time, right? Right. Is that podcast still going? It's been three days. Yeah, yeah. we're uh, <laughs> still talking about it. <laughs> yeah. yes. That sleeping episode was really good when they were just sleeping. Oh, no. That was great. That was a really good yeah. podcast. You could hear the snore. Someone yeah. might have apnea. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was awesome. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me, dude. This is awesome. This yeah. was, was a blast. <laughs> so thanks. we're gonna peace out. I'm gonna go off off All stream right. and. Mm-hmm. Um, Go from here. All right. Perfect. Thanks. Right. Onward and upward. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. What are you messing with over there? Stuff. Oh, had to bring that.